So from this course, I will show you how to use Terraform Cloud. So the very first step you need to do is to create your Terraform Cloud account. You can open uh, this link, and this link will show you the uh, sign-in or registering um, link. Uh, since I have already have the account, I can just uh, sign in. If you don't have an account, you can just uh, um, create your free account and follow the instructions. It will be very easy for you to register. Okay, so next, uh, let's click sign in button. And we will navigate here. Um, next step is to create organization. So I will create an organization called Andrew Programming. Enter the email address and uh, click here, create organization. Now, as you can see, we have an organization created. This organization is called Andrew Programming. And if you have multiple um, organization, you can click this drop down list and uh, uh, choose the organization you want to work in. Okay. Okay. Next step is to create a workspace. Uh, or if you already have one, you can choose that one. So for me, I should create a new workspace. And you can see here, uh, we have three steps to create a new workspace. First is to connect it to VCS. So as you can see here, uh, I have a GitHub because I put my code here. And I want to uh, set up the connection uh, between the workspace and the GitHub project, right? So I can choose this one. Or if you put your code on other VCS, uh, you can choose uh, one of them. Okay, so for me, I click uh, GitHub and choose github.com. And you can see here, uh, we should follow this step to set up the connection. So I can click this link, register a new OAuth application. And the application name, I should copy this one, paste it here. Paste the home page URL and uh, let me check. Yeah, authorization callback URL should be this one. Okay. Paste it here, application description, any description of your choice. So I will leave this blank and I, I click this register applications. Okay, now we have this information and let's go back. So it says after click, uh, clicking the register application button, you will be taken to new applications page. Enter the client ID and the client secret below. Okay, so let's see uh, client ID is this one. Copy, paste, and uh, client secret ID is this one. Paste, and I can use the github.com okay and next uh, let's click connect and continue now we can see this page and uh, let's click authorize Andrew programming enter the password Okay, you see that you now we have successfully set up the connection between the workspace and the, the GitHub project, right? So uh, next step is to set up SSH key pair. So um, this SSH key pair is used by Terraform Cloud to connect to GitHub.com. So we can use the command right here to generate that key pair. As you can see, it's a standard Linux command. So if you are familiar with this command, you will understand what it will do, right? And please notice um, this step is optional. So I will leave behind this and uh, I will click skip and finish. Okay, now um, you can see that we have this information 
and uh, this means we have successfully uh, set up the connection uh, with the GitHub and the my workspace. Okay. Next, I should uh, choose a repository um, holded on the GitHub. So I click this button and choose this one. So it uh, so here, as you can see, uh, we can choose the repository I want to set up the connection. Here, I'm gonna use this one. So I click it, and the workspace name you can give it a name you like. I will use the default one. And here, um, you also can uh, edit the advanced option, but uh, I also use the default one. So next, uh, let's click this create workspace. Okay, you can see that uh, um, I successfully set up a workspace. Okay, next step is either to configure variables or just the clean plan. If your configuration doesn't require variable, you can clean your first plan now. So I will click this one. And you can see that we have a plan. We have a queen, and the queen has a task to running. So you can see this is the output of the executing process. So as you can see, uh, we need a value for the required variable. So I need to set up this uh, this variable's value. So before we setting this variable's value, I want to go through quickly of, uh, about this project. Um, this project is very simple. Um, as you can see, it was used to create AWS DynamoDB table. And uh, this code needs some variable value. For example, the tag username. So if we go to the uh, variables.tf, um, and you can see there is a variable called the tag username. It doesn't have a default value. It just have a type, right? So we must give this variable a value. And also, um, this variables uh, .tf doesn't contain another two variables we used in the um, in the main .tf. So let's go back to main .tf, and uh, you can see that we use uh, these two variables, which is called db read capacity, db write capacity. But we doesn't. Uh, but uh, in the variables .tf. It doesn't contain these two variables, so we must give these two variables a value too. So let's go back to the Terraform Cloud, and uh, you can see uh, a workspace name, and uh, you can see the run schedule is errored because of the previous uh, uh, unsetted uh, uh, variable value. Okay, so now let's click this, and uh, let's click variable tab. And here we can add add variables, right? So let's click this button and enter the variable name, variable key name, use tag username, and this value um, I can give it whatever I like. For example, Andrew, and you can give it a description or not. And I can uh, and then I click save variable to save this variable. And uh, I also need to add another two variable, which is called DB write capacity. I, and I give it a value uh, one. Okay, save this variable. And I want to add another variable called DB uh, read capacity. DB read capacity and its value. Uh, say two okay and uh, save this variable and uh, I also I uh, need to set uh, two environment variables which are AWS access key ID and the AWS secret access key and you can see that uh, this value uh, you cannot see it value right because uh, because I uh, check the sensitive uh, option here. Uh, once this value uh, is sensitive, you cannot see its value here. Okay, so uh, next uh, I can um, rerun the project and rerun the build again. So here I need to add uh, 
uh, two environment variables, uh, which are my AWS access uh, key ID and uh, AWS secret key. And you can see these values are invisible because I check the sensitive option here. So if you check this option, your value will become invisible. All right, so next uh, I can rerun the project. So here, click uh, Queen Plan and uh, click this button. Your build will rerun. So let's wait for a second. You can see that these uh, are the output. So we can see that we have an execution plan generated here. The plan says we have two to add. Okay, so if everything is okay, we can click a confirm and apply button here. So let's click let's click this button, and you can uh, add some comment. I will leave it behind. So just to confirm the plan. And you can see that now we enter the apply stage. And I want you to notice that all these things are executing remotely. So you can see apply finish. And we can click this tab. You can see we have the output here and also we can click uh, this button to download uh, the raw log okay so if everything is okay we can go to the ec2 uh, we can go to aws management console to verify the result so uh, here we're gonna search dynamo db And uh, we should uh, select table tab. You can see that uh, uh, this table is what we just uh, created. And it's in US West 1 region. So as you can see, using Terraform Cloud, we can build the infrastructure remotely. And we can store our code in the VCS. So um, a team can work together to manage uh, the infrastructure, right? 